In this video, I will demonstrate how you can convert your USDT to Naira and pay directly into your bank account. So, once you've transferred your USDT from whatever app you traded or you had your USDT into OKX, the next thing for you to do is click on Buy Crypto. Now, once we click there, the options we have is P2P Trading. Of course, that's what we're going with. So, we tap on P2P Trading. And remember, we want to sell out our crypto. So, you have the option of Buy and Sell. So, we'll click on Sell. And once we click on Sell, you have to carefully look through the list of sellers or traders here. And depending on how much we have, I have currently 176 USDT to sell out. So I will look first for who is dealing under around those figures in Naira. So I would come to somewhere around, um, okay, 100K to 43 million. That's the first thing you look at the volume of transaction that person can carry. And the next thing you look out for his performance rate. I don't like the performance rate. I need somebody from 90 and above. Okay, that's next. But however, I would come to someone who has traded on it. Once you see those people that have traded on it, it means they are currently online. So for this, I would go with this guy who has who can trade from 50k to 27 million and above. And also on the traded here, you have 94 pips percent so i'll tap on sell so click on sell it will load to the next page which prompts you to put your amount i'm selling out everything so i'll tap on max so once you tap on max um okay the value there is 175 dollars and the next thing you have all this information payment window 30 minutes which if he doesn't um, make transaction or call, they will reverse the money and cancel that. So the next thing I would like to do is click on sell USDT, zero fees. Also note that if you, if this is your first time of doing this, once you click on sell USDT, this would occur. And if you tap it first, you can cancel it and tap it again. Now, once you tap it again, it will prompt you, if this is your first time, it will prompt you to create your bank detailed information in this case um well sometimes it will bypass that and when the person has engaged or has showed interest in buying your usdt which this is what is going on here so they are giving us a detailed information of this transaction total transaction in cash of one seventy five dollars is one hundred and thirty dollars and one hundred thirty thousand naira, three hundred and eighty two, um sorry one hundred and thirty thousand naira, three hundred and eighty two naira. So, having all of this information now, the person is operating from a Kuda bank. So knowing all of this now, well, it's just for you to proceed and click on sell. So we'll just tap on sell. and the sale transaction has been engaged don't forget this is a p2p so the fed you to a buyer or to a, a seller so all you need to do is come to the message first you have two options of con um, contacting whoever is it has engaged to buy this your usdt so we will go there to the message and they always have um what, what's it called they they always have their own rules so you have here, if I don't respond in five minutes, please call me on WhatsApp, you know, and all of that information. And since you have to know that since it didn't pop up for us to put our details, it means you have to come in, into his inbox here and drop your details manually. So I'll, um, since he was indicating that he uses a Coda Microfinance Bank. I will just go to my Coda and. All right. So I'll just type here hello. Are you online? Okay, let me be polite. Hello, please. Are you online? Then I would put my banking information below. 
that's an that's my account number and I will specify CUDA bank and send name Maurice Otu. So once I do that, he still hasn't responded. So I'll just have to call him by clicking on the call symbol over the top. All right, so user has requested for my account details, which I have dropped a Coda Bank account. And um, we're just waiting for him, he or she, to make the payment. And thereafter, we will have to release the crypto, that's you release the USDT from our end. If not, the payment would be regarded as disputed. So you have to stay online to complete your own part of the bank. Okay, he has made the payment. So I have received. From my CUDA here, 130,382 Naira. So I will just go and I'm waiting for him to click on his own end. I have made payment. Okay, so he has said sorry for the delay, boss. I will just say no problem. And the transaction is almost complete. So uh, you have a prompt here saying buyer paid for order, confirm that you have received. So yes, I will confirm. Click on the confirm button here. So I just tapped on the confirm. And you have to specify the amount that you have received. So I think, um, let me just be very sure of that. Okay. All right. So I would put the amount, the 130000 three eight two so once you click that you click on confirm and it should have to load okay so that i think there was an error there what was that all right so i think that's complete i guess all right, so everything just pops up, rate your experience. I'll just click on positive just to rate him and click on submit. And you have completed your sellout of your USDT to Naira into your bank account. So that's just a round trip of how to convert your USDT to Naira on OKX. Make sure to like, follow, and also share this video. Thank you.